Good morning, it's 7.15 and we are heading for the bus station. None of them are ours, so Sandra's gonna wait and try to figure out where our bus is. Today we're going back to Skopje. And we're going in a small bus, so I think it's gonna be faster than going with a big bus. At least that's what I'm hoping. Still, it's about 7-8 hours or something like that. It's gonna be a fun day. So we can do whatever we want, said the bus driver who is smoking behind the non-smoking sign. We've been driving for one and a half hour now, something like that, and so far so good. Yes, back here is our bus. At past time on the road, we are counting how many warning lights the driver can get in his bus. There are six things that can get a red light. As soon as we started the bus, two of them started being red. He's been up to four, but now he's back now to three warning lights. So let's see where we end up once we get to Skopje. One espresso for the road while our bus is being clean. Nice! We have 400 Albanian lek left. So we are thinking about what to do with them. You can't exchange them outside the country. So we need to spend it. Ice cream it is. Best stuff ever. Look at this beautiful place. Time for leg two of the trip. Our driver was prompted to give the custom officer a little something to make the crossing smooth. When he didn't want to do that, he made the crossing hard. He took us aside, we drove the bus into a garage where we all had to get off, get all our luggage, and then they went through all our luggage and checked the bus before we were allowed to exit Albania. But then we still had to enter North Macedonia. Yeah. He did give the, the guard at the border to North Macedonia something and it was so much easier for us to pass into Macedonia than to exit Albania. But all in all it was kind of fun. It's interesting to see how it works. Or it doesn't work. Anyway, this is the last stop before we arrive in Skopje. We're back in Skopje. It took eight hours to go by bus from Tirana, but it wasn't that bad. It wasn't bad at all. Quite okay, actually. One thing that's really noticeable is that as soon as you cross the border from Albania to North Macedonia, the roads get so much worse. So it was a fairly pleasant ride for the first three or four hours, and then it was a really bumpy ride for the last four or five hours. We had a really nice bus driver. He was fun. Yeah, he was super cool. So all we're gonna do now is uh, find our hotel and check in. Another difference is the temperature. It has to be like 40 degrees here in Skopje compared to 30, 35 in Tirana. 
it's nice to have this walk to the hotel because sitting down eight hours makes your legs itch. It's been a 20 minute walk, but here we are. This is home for the next two nights. Yes. Your room, It's almost 6 o'clock, Sunday night. This is the capital of North Macedonia. There's nobody out and there's barely any cars on the street. Really weird and eerie feeling. It is a Sunday, but still. Hmm. I hope the restaurants are open. <laughs> we just drop off our bags, change clothes. And we took a shower. And now we're back in De Barmalo. We really enjoyed that neighborhood when we were here last time, so we figured we should go back and see if we can find a nice restaurant. Our first night in Tirana we had salad and Hoka became so sick. Now we're back in Skopje and we have ordered Shopska salad because it's so good. We need to try it again. Mm. We also ordered some omelette with cheese and some grilled white cheese. So how was the salad? It was just as good as I remember that. I really miss the Shopska salad. It's so good. And while we were eating we made some plans for tomorrow. So we have an exciting day ahead of us. We're going to do a lot of counting tomorrow. <laughs> Fun, right? But before we head back to our hotel tonight, we're going to go back to one of our favorite places here in Skopje. The board game cafe. See you tomorrow. One more thing before we end the vlog. We are not alone anymore. Skopje has woken up. It's at the main square where everybody are. And also we probably had dinner a couple of hours earlier than local folks. 